My name's Greg Fowler. I'm the pastor of Golden Grove Lutheran Church. And like many people in our community, I also have been the beneficiary of our prayer ministry healing team, where I experienced healing for an injury to my calf. Last year, early last year, so almost two years ago now, after a long hiatus from regular exercise, I decided, at the prompting of my wife, I must say, to become more regular, an exerciser. And we started off doing all sorts of things, running until we found a regular gym in which we could um, both enjoy exercise regularly. Once I started doing this, it was fine for a number of, of weeks, and then my right calf popped. And that's the best description I can describe. It just popped and I was really unable to even walk on it. It was terrible. I went to a physiotherapist who gave me some treatment. It was marginally better. And there was a whole bunch of exercises that I needed to do. I kept up the exercises, but the improvement was minimal. As soon as I put any pressure on that calf again, felt like it popped again. I was always protective of the calf. I was reluctant to put any real strain on the calf. And then after a period of time, I thought, oh, it might be all right. But again, pop. And there was a real weakness there in the muscle. And it was getting me down a bit because here I was wanting to participate and my calf was causing me an ongoing issues. So one night when we were praying for people, I said, I need my calf to be prayed for because it hurts. At that particular evening it was hurting and it has been unable to get well despite, I'll get better despite treatment and I didn't want to live like I was constantly protecting one side of my body. So we had a wonderful time of prayer that evening for my calf and I knew immediately that something had happened. How I knew, I don't know. There was no, I didn't necessarily feel any physical sensation. I just knew, hey, God had been at work. Uh, what was terrific was it felt better almost right away. The proof in the pudding was how it would react under stress. And the great news for me, of course, is that I've put this thing under stress regularly, have done now since that time, and it has not failed at all. So the muscle's integrity has been restored. It's strong. Uh, it, can, it can take force that it just was unable to take before after that uh, initial injury. So I'm very grateful to God, very grateful to God that he was able to, that our healing team was able to be used um, to bring healing to me and my calf and that I can enjoy wonderful exercise because I do enjoy the exercise very regularly, three, four times a week sometimes and my calf, um, yeah, because of the goodness and faithfulness of God, my calf continues to hold up. So, all praise to God. My encouragement would be, even if you are a bit unsure to start with, go and just watch. Go and sit amongst the people and you'll see that there's nothing strange. It's just the people who love God, who are being obedient to his word, praying, and nothing crazy happens except people get healed. There's nothing at all confronting, there's nothing frightening about it. It's simply people talking to God and believing in him. So you've got nothing to lose even if you just sit there because uh, 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 and watch and then should you feel comfortable the next time you come along be encouraged be encouraged to have people pray for you because um, you know, it is God's will that we pray for people who are sick the Bible's full of that encouragement Jesus himself came for restoration and we're not talking just eternal restoration but restoration in the present as well and so um, you know, we are confident that Jesus is at work 
healing people. We've seen it. We've seen many examples of it. So it's not foreign to us. And I guess it's not scary. It's not hocus pocus. It's not um, a big show. It's done in humility and obedience to the word of God. And that's the way he wants it. He wants us to be humble and obedient to um, to his will. So be encouraged. Come along. What have you got to lose? <laughs> what do you have to lose? Except maybe um, an infirmity.